I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making, you know, and nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down. Not too many days from now, you are going to meet the young lady. She is getting ready to come out of the shadow. And that's why I'm asking for everybody who registered because I need to know how big our army is. Typically here because I was asked to look into the matter, uh, matters that are surrounding Dalton, um, Mayor Tiffany Haynard, loosely and primarily Dalton trustee and av av activist Andrew Holmes and allegations that have been hurled uh, against him. Um, I wanna try to put this video in context and I would like to be as thorough and as quick as possible. Please be patient with me um, as I try to get through this as fast as I possibly can. But I was basically uh, called uh, in by people who are of civilian capacity and official capacity uh, to do what I do. And if you know what I do, then you know what I do and how I do it and who I'm connected to in the background. So it, you would understand it. So basically, um, this is a complicated situation because Andrew Holmes shares a lot of reach that I share. It's really, 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 really interesting because I've not too many times been asked to look into uh, advocates uh, officially. And so anyway, uh, let's get into it. Uh, and this is a video that I'm calling the Andrew Holmes Report. And this is our findings, okay? This is the findings of me and my team. And so it is basically going to be our opinion based on what we've gathered. And so I want you all to take that. Uh, some things I am not going to say because we are turning it over to individuals of a uh, more official capacity in hopes that they would further look into and review the information and do what they're tasked to do in their professional and official capacities. So now let's get into it. The f well, well, wait, 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 a couple more things. I think that the most important people to listen to this video are people who are residents of Dalton who are going to be voting on who is going to be representing them in the next election uh, that is a year, I think a year from now, um, and uh, who live in Dalton and may also, and that may also want to reach out because of their own personal in, uh, interest. Now, if you are not a resident of Dalton, you being nosy, but I do tell you one thing for sure. This may be some good. <laughs> Professional, adequate set of teams behind me. I've been on advocacy for a very long time. I have investigators, both civilian and law enforcement. I have elected officials in various capacities. I have retired individuals from different levels of government. I have hackers, people who are on the, a level of anonymous. You hear me? That is not a lie. I asked y'all to share it and the numbers are going down. I don't understand that. I need y'all to share this lie because we're going to talk about Andrew Holmes. And I need to be very clear. I don't think that this man should be freely roaming around Chicago, especially right now, sir, showing up to people's pain with these allegations over him that he has not even had the balls to respond to. And I want y'all to know why I think he should be uncomfortable. But they fucked up when they let a Jedediah Brown get an anonymous level type of research, the type of shit that goes into government 
So with that being said, I don't want to betray the trust of these victims. I don't want to mess up their cases. So I have to be very careful what I put out. People gonna like it, some people not. I don't give a fuck about the conversation because that's not the point. The more you talk about it, I guess, the more awareness there's to the case. So that's fine. But understand this. If I put this out, this is just the first receipt. And I don't get y'all understanding that we got to fight for these people. I'm going to be very much more careful about what I'm going to do as it relates to putting it out. But I, I got it. So here it goes. That piece of evidence is very crucial for this particular part of the receipt. And so what I have decided to do, and I, this is not me, and, 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 and I want to say this to, to those involved. I understand this. I just got a bomb ass team. We can get, I just feel like we can get anything, anywhere, at any time. I know stuff that you would not imagine that I know. That's why I have a hard time remembering shit because I got too much information. So this might shock people because here it is. This is going to be one of the things that we have obtained in our investigation. And I know people are going to try to figure out how the hell I got it. You won't figure it out. And that's why I got to be very careful with how I deliver this because I know that this is going to shake up a lot of people. Suspects, victims, officials, citizens. This is going to shake up a lot of people because how the hell is Jedediah getting this stuff? And I just showed y'all something. So y'all them, that other thing I just showed y'all, how the hell is Jedediah getting this stuff? Okay. I have also talked to my lawyers and lawyers, my team members, my investigators, and we've basically done the best of what we could to make sure I kept my word. So I'm going to show you guys, basically, this is a recording, and I want you all to understand what I'm telling you right now. This is a recording from the incident, from the day of the incident, from the time of the incident. Hackers and investigators of mine were able to receive this information. And I'm gonna play you this first part. But understand this is an investigation. This is a marathon, not a sprint. But this is going to show you all that I'm not lying. But there is way more hardcore information that needs to come out and that will. I'm going to play this audio, explain to the best of my ability what it is that you're hearing from our investigation. And then I'm going to tell you all what it means and what we do from there. So with that being said, here's the first snippet of audio. And I'm going to stop it right there. I'm going to play that audio one more time. But I want to give you all an understanding of what we have in our timeline and our investigation. What you're hearing is the victim who made the allegation call a colleague at the time, a police officer. 
that was also there. And what the victim is basically saying, or this alleged victim is saying to this cop, the cop says, whoa, 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 I don't know what's going on. This is at the moment when they're leaving. This is the next day. I just lost my thing. Shit. I just lost, I just lost my, uh, I just lost my thing, y'all. I lost my, this is the next day. They're leaving. She calls her colleagues, basically woken up in what is said on their Andrew's room. She says while on this call, I don't know how I woke, like he said, you woke up in Andrew's room, I woke up in Andrew's room. I don't have my wallet. I have my phone. He said, well, you got your phone, but you don't have your wallet. When I had the opportunity to have talking to this young lady, we talked about how she is as a person. Losing the wallet is a big flag. But this is the thing. She's waking up in Andrew's room. The first part of it is hard to hear because she is, she is frantic. She's discombobulated. She's disoriented. And so she's saying, I'm, well, I woke up in Andrew's room, and the thing that's crazy about that, from my understanding, is Andrew says he took her to his room because he didn't know where her room is. I have proof Andrew Holmes knew exactly where her room is, so there was no need to take her to his room. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 da. Ain't no stopping them now. They going to jail. Cause you about to lose your job. Ba, ba. They about to lose their job. Ba, ba. They about to lose their job. They going to jail. Okay, y'all. So how y'all doing? This is your boy Jedediah, aka Black. This is your man's. Jedediah, a.k.a. Black. And I wanted to come on here. I know you guys always see me rapidly posting, acting like this is Twitter, but this is my page. This is my personal page. So remember, I just do my best to deliver it. I'm not as tech savvy as I should be. We're working on it. But you guys, literally, I want to tell you all that I'm so happy and I've already written it on my page, but some people actually watch these videos and they get it better then. Some people get it when you type it. Some people get it when they're doing things. They're, they're different types of learners. So what I want to come on here today or right now to share with you all, first of all, you all have blessed my mother. My mother today have been blessed with $500, $500 total from people who have helped me say happy birthday. I told people, don't come. I'm good. I don't need it. This is a small situation that I can handle on my own. So I went to court. Then it was that. Then I called my lawyer, blah, 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 blah. As you guys see, I don't like to try to put no more of a burden on nobody than I need to. And I try not to ask people for nothing because they will throw that shit right back in your face at moments notice. But that's my proof. And then I showed y'all at the end of the day, I actually have a lawyer who was handling that specific case because I have several lawyers who are giving us their services pro bono. I showed you guys the lawyer that was going to be dealing with the restraining order. And that's the lawyer, as I reported to y'all, that she fired, that the mayor of Dalton fired and replaced for the one who quit on her. <laughs> This is getting good. So anyway, I've had the opportunity to be in Texas. Take care of my baby. I got to go drop him off again. Oh, he didn't like that. He screamed. I got to go drop him off again and get ready to get back for hell. We got to make a stop in Las Vegas. Got to make a stop in D.C. before I ultimately get right back to Chicago so that we can launch hell on Monday. As y'all remember, make sure, make sure, make sure that you all are there at 5. I'm going to be there at 5 o'clock on Monday at the Village of Dalton, uh, at, the, at the Village of Dalton for their meeting. We're going to have a launch off there. I'm asking for everybody to make sure you bring wigs and pots. Wigs, pots, and spoons. Wigs, pots, and spoons. You got to bring wigs, pots, and spoons to the village of Dalton on Monday. We're not taking the pots or the spoons in the building. So you got to go in the building. If you go in the building, your pot's going to be 
put into a space where everybody else's pot is. So if it's a pot that you're going to want to use or cook, or if you're nasty and you're going to go cook with it again anyway, you'll get your pot when you come back out. Remember, I also said this. If they don't allow us all in the room respectfully in relates to the Open Meetings Act, their meeting is not going to happen, just like last time. Public comment, they can listen to what we got to say, and then we outside. But regardless of how it goes, there's going to be a ceremon ceremonial launching of Hell Week where we're going to be charged from residents and hopefully elected officials. Okay? Remember, if you don't want the wig, you will leave the wig with me. It will be donated to organizations that we're selecting that give wigs to people who are battling or surviving cancer. Okay? So Sheena, the pot lady, I'm expecting her to be there. And since I know she's such an expert, we're going to pay her for consulting because I need those pots to be beat on beat. Okay, so with that being said, why did I come on live right now? There's an announcement that I want to say. I can't say the name because they don't want to be mentioned, but y'all, I have not lied to y'all not one time. Throughout this whole ordeal, it's been a little difficult because I've had to balance so many different things. Getting information organizing things most of the time remote um paying for things for individuals that have been affected by this and not make a big stink about it online i had to do so much and it was hard because you put up these links you do your best but oftentimes people have struggles or whatever so i get it people will contribute 10 5 2 $20 every now and then you get somebody who will send something like a 500 or a thousand and it will help us get the information because that's how we broke the code of silence. Well, I don't have to worry about that anymore. The part as it relates to the investigation, there is a philanthropic businessman who is giving 20. Now let me help y'all out. Typically you can get a good $10,000 for a tax write-off from philanthropists. Did y'all hear what I just said? Typically, you can get about a good $10,000 easy for a 501c3 from a lot of these celebrities and a lot of these multimillionaires. They give you $10,000 and it gotta be a tax write-off. But let me tell y'all how powerful and how amazing God is. We didn't murmur. We didn't complain. People attacked us. People wondered why this, why that. Got to deal with all the foolishness that come along with re raising basic resources to do very big things. Anyway, I'm not going to belabor the moment. We have been given a $20,000 pledge. Not worried about it being tax deductible. A businessman is given $20,000 pledge specifically for us to reward people for coming forward with receipts. So if you have any information that will give us further understanding of what's going on, you're going to get a reward in some cases up to $1,000. The only one right now that I'm going to give $10,000 for is if you got greater receipts that proved that there was a drug operation going on in the village of Dalton. We will turn over the things that we think are criminal to the appropriate authorities. We will release the fact that we have it to the public and we will only give the public information that we think will help them have an understanding without compromising court proceedings. Last but not least, we will not ever, ever share the identity of the persons who are giving us the information. We will not reveal how much money you've received and we will scrub everything connected to you and it'll never come back. The only way that it has ever happened with me is if you play in my face or if you are my enemy. But we have a $20,000 pledge seed for information, tips, pictures, video, you can get up to $10,000 in some cases, but in most, up to $1,000 for information that will give us greater understanding of what's happening in Dalton. 
You just reach out to me in my inbox and I'll go from there. But I want to say this, the $20,000 is a pledge. It is, it is it's, it's legit. It's going to come directly from, hey, you're supposed to be on vacation. Get off this line. It is going to come directly from the businessman himself directly to you. Not too many days from now, you are going to meet the young lady. She is getting ready to come out of the shadow. And that's why I'm asking for everybody who registered because I need to know how big our army is. But the young lady is getting ready to come out of the shadows. She's getting ready to introduce herself and talk about her story as much as she can. And I'm saying this on the record. She been ready to do this this whole time. She's girl that showed up for everybody, including me. And I'm gonna tell y'all this. All I'm gonna say is your heart. If your when when your heart break as much as mine, just get ready, because when they tell the stuff that y'all ain't heard yet, every woman in America out of the sin on fucking Dalton. As of right now, they are preparing her. She's preparing to make her statement to the public. It is my honor, and I'm saying this on the record, because she said, out of anybody I saw Jedediah, you have really fought. She said, at first, I didn't know how to trust. I didn't know what to do, what to believe. She said, Jedediah, I will let you question me. I will sit with you, and we can, and when we speak to, to the people. And I said, absolutely not. When you speak, you should be the only focus because you have not spoken, you have not gotten to speak. You have been gagged, you have been stopped, you have been intimidated, you have been played with every step of the way. This is not our story, this is yours. Okay. You monkeying around? Okay, y'all, this is what we're doing for Hell Week, and this is how it goes as follows. Number one, on Monday, May 6th, y'all listening? Monday, May 6th, it is the kickoff. It is the charge, it is the kickoff. We're going to ask for the mother of Alexis Wilson. We're going to ask for the young lady who spoke about her husband being killed and she got no justice. We're going to ask for activist Cheryl Hill and other residents. We're going to ask for Valerie Stubbs and Mary. Um, we're going to ask for those individuals who have really gone through this in a way that I could never, ever, ever imagine. Because if I've gone through this little bit, I have no idea what these people have been really going through for the last two years now almost three we're asking them to address us tell us their story again summarized we want them to then tell us what hell week would mean to them and they're going to charge us even the young lady that was that that dealt with the sexual assault i'm also asking for the trustees of dalton to address us to give a uh, uh, um um uh, 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 what is I can't think of your name, but I see you, Monster Venice. Talk to the crowd. I'm gonna give you all the opportunity to talk to the crowd. Tell us what Hell Week would mean for you, and charge the crowd because we are not going to charge. And then, the, then I'm going to ask a question from the crowd. Do we have the permission of Dalton after we get room for even the trustees to address us if they so choose and desire? Once we get the charge, listen to what I'm saying. On Monday, right before we go into the meeting and let the people's business be handled. And I want to tell you all this in, in full confidence of what I believe. If they violate the Open Meets Act, we are not, they will not have a meeting. They will listen to the public comments and we will then get the charge for Hell Week. I am fully confident that these trustees are not going to allow anything unlawful to move further from this point on. If they don't let everybody in the room, I am confident as I was last time, there will be no meeting. They will have to wait because until you follow the law, your government is officially illegitimized and people are no longer accepting of your bullying, of your bad behavior. And so with that being said, on Monday, I am asking for everybody to come bringing a wig. Bring a wig, bring pots, 
bring spoons. Bring wigs, bring pots, bring spoons. Bring a friend. Because once we get the charge, I want wigs spinning in the air. And I, we gonna have us a little, we gonna, we gonna have us a little demonstration right there in front of the village hall. If they cancel the meeting, I'm still gonna see y'all there. Sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Scared my monkey. I'm still gonna see you there with your wigs and with your pots. If you decide that you want to give or donate your wig at the end of this, we are going to take those wigs and donate it to places for people who have been battling cancer because we know that Tiffany cares about cancer patients. So we're going to take those wigs and we're going to donate the ones that are left to an organization or organizations that provide wigs for individuals who are battling cancer because we really do care. But those pots, y'all take them damn pots back home. But if you have a pot or spoon, we don't want it to seem like there is any kind of threat because there isn't. It's just going to be hell. I want you all to leave your pots outside with me. But we're going to try to find something to cover them up because my pot ain't going back in the house. Can't cook, can't, can't cook on the pot no more. Not that my pot been outside and using the protest. But if you want your pot back, we're going to have your pot, but your pot's going to stay outside. So making sure it's a pot or a pan with your spoon that you are not going to have a problem with losing. Did you hear what I said? Don't y'all come to that damn meeting without no pot, no, no wig, and no spoon. All right. The next day is going to be the, and then also on this day, you guys, there's going to be the revealing of the individual who suffered this SA sexual assault and have been forced silent for almost a year, suffering silently. There will be no more silence from her. We are going to release her statement. I'm not exactly sure when it is going to be released, but she's going to be making her statement on Monday. It may be after the meeting. It may be before. But this is all I'm going to tell y'all. This is all I'm going to tell y'all. Get ready for your heart to shatter. Your heart is going to crumble when you get the facts that have not been shared. And I promise you all this, after this day, she ain't going to have to be in silent anymore because we're going to fight. And it's hell from there. So with that being said, on Tuesday, it is only right that after she speaks, we stand with her. We will then be going on a block. I'll be putting that block out on a flyer, but we're going to meet at a different place on Tuesday standing with sexual assault or standing for sexual assault. I'm going to give her a bullhorn and anybody that have been sexually assaulted the platform to speak to their predator. Listen to what I'm saying. You all hear the words that are coming out of my mouth. We're going to send an image out to the nation that if you sexually assault our women, our children, our innocent men, men, period. If you sexually assault somebody and they choose to stand up, we will no longer leave them without a voice, an advocate or backup. And so we are going to send an image out because everybody there needs to be in a teal ribbon or a shirt that is that a shirt that highlights sexual assault or however you want to present it. We're going to be out there to stand with her and them while they get it out. Tuesday is sexual assault day. That is the rally which we confront predators. We're also going to have a small time or small window where we're going to knock on the doors of the surrounding neighborhood and inform them with flyers that there is a potential alleged sexual predator in the neighborhood. That's Tuesday. I could not be here breathing and be comfortable if I was really as bad as they was making me. You know, nobody could be around me. So for me to be this calm, I must have some kind of inner peace. And my inner peace is knowing that once everybody takes the time to really see what type of person I am, you'd be surprised that I stuck around this long. I have to make the life that I do live as happy as I can and try to do the best with what I have. Do, you know, live the best life I can live, be as happy as I can be. N nothing is perfect for anybody. I don't know. Boys, I swear, I think I figured it out. You know why they don't want us redneck brothers and sisters and the hood brothers and sisters getting along? You know why? Because we'd be unstoppable. I'm telling you right now, we would shut shit down.